Hi guys, we're here with a, another video for my creative year for February uh, 2020. So this month we are experimenting with using a limited color palette and the choices for colors were taken from some of my favorite colors and honestly the this selection of colors and this particular brand of paint, fun fact, is the one I started with when I started mixed media. Um, to be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew these were pretty colors and I got these four colors and then I got black and white. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna go back to uh, my old days and we're gonna play with these colors. And in this first video, we are going to um, play with some color mixing and see what you can do um, with a limited color palette. and. Try these colors if you have them or have something similar. You don't have to. I'm gonna tell you what colors they are real quick here in just a minute. I would recommend limiting your color palette to three or four colors plus black and white. You can use any colors that you have in your stash of stuff that you wanna use, um, but for the purpose of this video and my experiment, we're gonna use my old color palette, which is Amsterdam, um, yellowish green, um, also Amsterdam. This one is ultra uh, quinacridone rose. I think that's what this says. <laughs> um, this one is turquoise green, and this one is Naples yellow. This is still my favorite Naples yellow color, by the way. Um, the Amsterdam one. It's just a little bit different than some of the other ones in in tone. And it's, yeah, still a favorite. Um, and then we also have just a titanium white and a Mars black. Use what you have that's close to these, but give it a try. Um, so basically in this palette, we have a green, a blue, um, a red, and a yellow, right? They're just kind of pastel-y grayish tones. But anyway, um, I'm also going to use some watercolor postcards when I was cleaning out um, uh, things and doing some purging. I found three or four books of these postcards I forgot I had, so we're gonna use that for our paper. And I've got a piece of parchment paper here off to my right I'm gonna use for my palette. I'm gonna get a flat brush, let's see, or a filbert or something. A filbert will work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to start with an experimenting on how the colors will mix, we're gonna do a basic color mixing chart on that postcard. So I'm gonna put out some blobs of each color onto this piece of parchment, including the black and white. If you hear any noise in the background, it's either my computer or one of the kids. Everybody's working at home today. Okay, and then we're gonna put some white and then some black. I remember when I bought some of my first acrylic paints, I walked into a little stationery store in Santa Cruz, California, and they had a big selection of Amsterdam paints, and I loved the color selection of what they had, and um, yeah, so I bought a few tubes. It was great. All right, so I'm gonna start with putting swatches of the original colors going down and across, including the black and white. Uh, yeah, including the black and white. And um, then um, we are going to mix the colors adjacent to each other together to see what kind of color range we can get. I know you're like, what? So you'll see. So I'm gonna take start with the yellow and I'm gonna leave the very corner empty, but then I'm going to put swatches like this. And we'll do the blue. Yeah, dirty brush. Let's clean that a little bit, shall we? Let's see if 
and get some of that off. Okay, white. And then black. Now I could have drawn out squares. I would have not run, kind of run out of room here at the end, um, but you know, if you want it to be more precise, draw squares. Okay, so now the idea is to start here with the yellow, and obviously if you mix the yellow with the yellow, you're gonna just get yellow, because it's the same color, right? So we'll put that here. Then if you mix the yellow with the blue, So a little bit more yellow in that, there we go. And you can see that kind of grayed that down a little bit, made it less bright. Then if you mix the yellow with the pink, see the change, the color difference you have there. Then the yellow with the green. And then the yellow with the white. and then the yellow with the black. Now that was unexpected, look at that pretty gray color. So I want you to go across and I want you to do that for all the colors on the card, all the way down. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna speed forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, now you've made yourself, sorry for shaky camera. Now you've made yourself a color mixing chart and you can use this as a guide to create artwork from just these limited colors, which is what we're gonna do next. So I want you to work on your color mixing chart. Maybe start out with these colors, but maybe go forward using other colors and um, see, experiment and play and see how far you get with that. I would love to see what you all do. So we are gonna create a little piece of artwork on this um, watercolor postcard. We did a um, sort of a color key, seeing what would happen and what kind of color variation we, we would get mixing these colors together, um, which was interesting. So I'm gonna use that as a guide to create the painting. I'm gonna speed forward through my process and I'll be right back. Okay, I know what some of you are saying, that's all great and all, but I can't paint like that. <laughs> so it's not about the composition. This is a still life inspired by something I saw on the internet. Um, and I am not gonna do a talk through tutorial because it's not my, the idea is inspired by somebody else. But that being said, you can do, um, um, you can do anything. You can do random backgrounds. I'm gonna insert here some pictures, some digitals of, um, some old random backgrounds I did um, with these same colors and I did these years ago when I first got started. They're still some of my favorite backgrounds. Um, 
So I, the point is I want you to play with color, I want you to play with the combination of colors, but I want you to limit your palette. I want you to do some mixing and figure out what you can do and experiment with maybe trying some new things this month. Um, and let's um, share and don't forget to like, share and support um, the free content here on YouTube and this video, of course, but also share your work over in the Facebook group. I would love to see what you do. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Also though, if you have any questions, you can, that's what the Facebook group is for. So if it's, if you have a question, tag me or one of the other teachers in the post and we will get back to you promptly. Um, and uh, yeah, have fun with it, play with your colors and have a good time. I hope that this gives you some ideas of what you can do. Um, don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links, including the link to the Facebook group for my creative year and ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. And I'm not the only one who has ways to support all the teachers here on YouTube do and in the Facebook art groups. So check out their video descriptions and or message them and ask them if you have an Amazon store, or an Amazon affiliate link or an Etsy store or something. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.